The Occupy Phoenix protest is much smaller than the Occupy Wall Street protest in New York. However, it's still ringing up a heavy bill for the city. Cronkite News reporter Taylor Summers is live in Cesar Chavez Plaza, where the protests are taking place and tells us just how much this is costing. Taylor? Yes, Occupy Phoenix has stayed here for 16 days, but now the city of Phoenix says the protesters should pay part of a $204,000 tab. According to Council Member Sal DeCicio, most of that sum comes from the first two days of the protest, but Phoenix police have paid officers overtime to make sure the group is following the law. DeCicio is suggesting that protesters pay at least part of the bill because the costs are straining an already depleted city budget, but that idea doesn't sit well with Dan Pachota of the ACLU. The Constitution provides for protections of the rights of free speech, uh, not the rights of paid speech. I mean, to charge people for their ability to express themselves in public would basically decimate the constitutional right involved. At any given time, you'll see about 15 to 20 protesters here. When I told them earlier that they may have to pay part of this bill, they said, well, we don't need the police here. This is a peaceful protest to begin with. Reporting live from Cesar Chavez Plaza, I'm Taylor Summers for Cronkite News.